And now the law school's dean, Marcus Cole, will give his charge to the graduating class. So, you are special. As the Dean of Notre Dame Law School, I want to be the first to congratulate you on your achievement. But your achievement is special to me in particular because you are the first class that I got to pick to be here. And I'm very proud of who you are. When we were selecting your class, we introduced something that I had always assumed had been here, but I wanted to make sure was um, um, formalized with our admissions process. And that was that we were looking for people not just with high test scores and high grades, but people who we call makers of mission. And we looked through your background for markers of mission. And what we mean by that is that you've shown some commitment to your communities, to making the world a better place, and some commitment to what we know of here at Notre Dame as the Catholic mission. And so I'm very proud of who you are. But you're not the same people that came here three years ago. If you haven't noticed, you've changed. A lot has changed. But the training that you received here at Notre Dame has changed you, and we pray that it's changed you for um, the better. But some things haven't changed. Some things have remained the same. The doctoral hood that I placed on your shoulders flows from a tradition that originated with the very first Western University, the University of Bologna, a thousand years ago. And it symbolizes your special training your elevated role in our society. It is the highest public expression of honor that the faculty of an institution can bestow on anyone. And as it did in Bologna a thousand years ago, the hood you now wear signifies that you were learned in the law. The very first people, in fact, to, uh, upon whom the title of doctor was conferred at Bologna were lawyers just like you. And despite plagues and pandemics, wars and revolutions, famines and floods, the world has always been in need of lawyers and the rule of law that we help to ensure. What you've achieved to get to this point is noteworthy. But I hope you'll also notice something else about your hood. I hope you'll notice that the velvet on your hood is a different color than the velvet on any other hood conferred on someone receiving a law degree. You, you might notice that the hood on some of your professors is purple. That royal purple, a color reserved for kings, is the universal color of lawyers everywhere. But your hood is royal blue. It's different from any other, law, uh, uh, any other hood that's worn by a law graduate. The royal blue of your hood is the royal blue of Mary, Queen of Heaven. It's different because you are different. With this hood, you become what we call a different kind of lawyer. And as a Notre Dame lawyer, you're now uniquely equipped to change the world a world desperately in need of the change that only you can bring. Your legal training here at Notre Dame gives you power. It's a power that not everyone has. And you can now go forth and satisfy the requirements to act upon, uh, on behalf of others to fight for their rights. That's what your legal training gives you. It gives you the, the power to secure a license to practice law. But your Notre Dame training should train you to be more than that. It should give you more than a license to practice law. Your Notre Dame law degree should give you a license to practice love. We're living through a time when unthinkable acts of brutality and violence are being committed against people. Russian soldiers 
have marched into Ukraine and they're shooting uh, civilians. Children in schools are being shot in their classrooms. And in Hong Kong, a 90-year-old Catholic priest by the name of Joseph Cardinal Zen, the former bishop of Hong Kong, has been in prison because he's spoken out about the injustices of the Chinese Communist Party. If there was ever a time when the world needed a different kind of lawyer, it's now. If there was ever a time for lawyers to be active and vocal and brave, it's now. If there was ever a time for lawyers to practice love, it's now. Whatever area of law you choose to practice, in whatever community you choose to live, don't forget where you came from. Three years ago, you came to Notre Dame, but now you come from Notre Dame. You're one of us, and that should mean something. That should mean that the world should become a better place because of you. Fifty years ago, the University of Notre Dame's president, Father Theodore Hesburgh, dedicated our law library with the following prayer. And just as we started this day with a prayer, I want to leave you with a prayer. This is Father Hesburgh's prayer for you. May there be a hunger for justice. May our students seek competence in the law, since compassion without competence would be a cruel hoax upon those who they serve. May they also realize that competence in the law without compassion leads the lawyer to use the law for other purposes than the works of justice. It blinds him or her to the sad plight of persons who suffer injustice for want of a lawyer champion. May these students, these graduates, in their lawyer lives ever avoid that which bends the law to ignoble ends. May these students, graduates, learn the majesty of the law in this place, and through the practice of law, may they earn for themselves and others the blessings of the God of justice, not the least of which is personal and civic peace, which is at the same time both the noblest work and the first fruit of justice among a just people working for the creation of a just society. And that's my prayer for you, for you to be a Notre Dame lawyer, a different kind of lawyer. Yes, go out and practice law, but also practice love. Thank you.